Hey, 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 legends, Fraser Brooks here coming to you live today from uh, Dubai. I hope you're doing good. So in today's episode, I want to talk to you about the Neto Martin Ninja podcast, episode 237. Nearly forgot my lines there. I want to talk to you about how to recruit more people into your network marketing business using a process and talking to you about a flow that not many people talk about. Uh, and by the way, I am actually streaming this live on Instagram. Hey, everyone, you guys can kind of see the behind the scenes of how I do these, these podcast episodes, some of my YouTube videos and stuff stuff like that. So I won't be paying too much attention to you guys in the chat. But for those of you who are listening in on the podcast, make sure that you have hit that subscribe button. If you are watching on the YouTube video on the YouTube channel, give me a thumbs up and smash the subscribe uh, button as well. I appreciate all of you guys in the comments and on the chat as well. I'm looking at the camera lens right there though. All right, so let's get into this. So here's the thing. Recruiting is a very simple five-step process of taking someone from not knowing and being unaware of what you do to being aware that you are the solution or you are the person who holds the solution to them. So if I was to draw that out, and yes, I have a fancy new whiteboard thing. For those of you on YouTube, you're able to see this. Instagram, you'll kind of be able to figure it out. But here we go. This is the process. Number one is people are unaware of you, meaning you have to start a conversation with them or you have to create content and hope fingers crossed that the algorithm is going to put that content in front of people. All right. And then the end goal is that they've got to become aware that you have the, that you are the solution. All right. So I'm just going to put, you know, you as a stick figure there, right? So people are going to go from unaware that they're unaware about you to aware that you are the person who has the solution to the problem. So what are the three steps in between that most people, that most people kind of need to do? Some people are doing some of them. A lot of people aren't doing any of them. So the second step, obviously the first step is being unaware. The second step is being aware of who you are. Kind of straightforward, kind of obvious. So they're going to be aware of who you are. So you create a piece of content, right? Or you send someone a message, right? You've got the content in the messenger. So you send someone a piece of content, you create a piece of content, or you send someone a message in the messenger, and now they're aware of who you are. Ah, there's that, there's that Jamie. Oh, there's that Galena. Oh, there's that Kathy. Oh, there's that Annabella. Oh, there's that Bailey. Oh, that's whoever it might be. Now I'm aware of who you are. Now, when it comes to like recruiting, a lot of people will then do the following. They will, I'm changing the color of my pen here. Um, they will, they will find someone right? So we call it find that message. They will find someone and then they will send them a message to connect with them. So now that person's aware and then they will introduce them to an opportunity. Maybe they'll say, Hey Mary, just curious. Would you be open to checking out some more information on an amazing way to make some extra money? Or Hey Mary, have you ever heard of company X or Hey Sarah, what do you know about product Y? And then if that person says no, then they leave it there right? So they kind of get to this part in the process and then that stops, right? So they, they become, the person is unaware of who they are, then they become aware of who they are and they just talk about the business. But that person who, who's unaware is not aware that they have a pain, is not aware that there's a solution, is not aware that you can help because they're not thinking about it. So with this, when this actually happens, you've actually got to pay attention to it because most people, most people need more information than just one exposure. They need more information than just one piece of content. They need more information than just one message sent to them. In fact, I would probably say about 95% will say no the first time round. And if you're good, if there's visible content, if there's visible influence, you might be able to get 5% of people from that initial message say yes. So when people then come to me and say, oh, Fraser, cold messaging doesn't work, I kind of agreed with them in the first stage, because if all you're doing is you find that message and you ask if someone's open and you send them the information, majority of people are going to say no because they're not taking the next steps in the recruiting process. So the third step, and by the way, most people just stop here, right? They kind of go, right, I find someone, I message them, I find someone, I message them, next, 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 next. So let's actually think about it the next step. Okay, so the next step is that people need to be aware of their own pain. I'm just going to put aware of pain or aware of problem, right? If they're not aware that they have a pain, if they're not aware that they have a problem, 
then how are they going to be aware of a solution and how are they going to be aware that you have that solution? So how do you do this? Well, if you're promoting a product, I've got a product right in front of me. It is a black marker pen. It's massive as well. Look at that compared to my hand, right? So you've got the black marker pen, but in this, in this example, the black marker pen represents a weight loss product. If you're on Instagram right now, let me know what kind of product you have. Uh, let me know what kind of product you have, what sector is it in, all right? Uh, for those of you on, on the YouTube channel, let me know as well. And if you are listening in on the podcast, hit that subscribe button. All right, so here we go. The black pen represents a weight loss product. So I am gonna talk about in my lives, in my stories, maybe on my feed with the reels and different posts, I'm gonna talk about all the pains and problems people who are using my product currently have or have had. How do you know this? Well, if you've been talking to people and all you're doing is trying to get the transactions, you are not going to know. But if all you're doing when you're talking to people is thinking, what are the pains you've got? What are the problems that you're facing? What are the challenges you're having in your life? And you're writing a list, right? Mary, uh, Mary has arthritis. Um, Sarah has low energy. Uh, Bob suffers with struggles with sleep. Um, Samantha has uh, fluctuating weight issues. Da -da 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 You've got all these pains because when you focus on transformation, the aim of transformation is taking from someone from where they're at right now that they're not happy with and where they want to get to. And that gap is the transformation. So stop focusing on transactions. Start focusing on transformations. Anyway. We've got the pen, right? We've got the product. So now we need to start letting people know with our content because once you, once you find that message and you build that list and once you ask them the question and see if they're open, now they're gonna maybe be a little bit more curious about, hmm, yeah, uh, what is it that you do? What is it that you help? How can you help? They start seeing your content and now they're gonna be aware of the pains. Actually, I don't have any of those pains, but my uncle Michael, he really struggles with some of those pains. Maybe I should tell Uncle Michael about this person who messaged me some time ago. But it doesn't stop there because just because you're making someone aware of the pain, you then need to make them aware of the solution. Aware of solution. I can't spell and I can't write and talk at the same time. In fact, I can't do many things at the same time. All right? So one, one thing at a time is pretty much me. So now they need to be aware of the solution. So in your lives, in your reels, in your stories, in your posts. Now you can potentially, separately, you can now talk about solutions. So the other day I was talking about, you know, uh, having, having struggles with, I have something called hallux rigidus, right? Which means that most people can bend their big toe like this, uh, like got a big range of like at least 90 degrees. My range is like 10%. Right? I can't really bend them if I do. It's super, super, super painful. It's basically arthritis of the big toe, right? And let's say I was talking about my story or Jane's story or Beth's story or uh, Chris's story or Nick's story or Diana's story or Diana's story. I was talking about this. Yesterday, I was talking to you about Donna's story. Yesterday, I was talking to you about Bob's story. And today, I want to talk to you about a solution that's helped me or that's helped Dave or that's helped Bob with the pain of the problem they've gone through. And that is this incredible product that has a very special ingredient called da 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 da. Now, before you kind of think like, oh yeah, I know about this. Every time I've got this sort of product from the supermarket, I've never really kind of given it long enough to, to kind of make it work because I've never had anyone to talk to. Because I don't know about you, but when I go to the supermarket, I get the product from the shelf, I go beep, the, the, the cashier tells me that'll be £17.99, please. I get my credit card, I tap it. Sometimes I enter my PIN code, sometimes I don't, and I leave. That's it. But when I bought this product, I found that I had mentorship, guidance, accountability. Boom, 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 boom. So much so that this product became super valuable to me. So now by doing this, the person is going to be un from unaware of who you are to now aware of who you are, being a bit resistant of like, who's this person? What, who's this, like, what's this thing? What's this person trying to sell me to now going past the line that most people don't go through of like, now I'm aware of the pain in my life. Now I'm aware of the solution that there is out there. The last step, the last step, which is the most important is that people need to be aware that you are the, you are the, you are the source of the solution. You are the person who can solve their problem. And so many people don't do this. So many people take people from unaware to aware. 
So many people are talking about the benefits of the product or talking about the pain that people have. They're talking about the solution or the benefits that their business or their product can solve, but they're never talking about how they can help as well. They are, some people are, but majority aren't. They're just thinking that if I just talk about the benefits and I just talk about the pain people have and I just talk about the solution, then people are gonna buy. Why should they buy from you instead of going to Google and finding the best person to buy? They need to be aware that, okay, so over the last few days, I've been telling you about this product um, and the pain that people who use this product usually are, like what pains and problems they have. And then the solution to those pains and problems are X, Y, Z, including this product. Now, let me tell you about why you should consider reaching out, why you should consider dropping fire emoji, why you should consider reaching out to me or letting me know if you're aware or uh, messaging me back or whatever it might be. I'm not going to go into the language to use right now. Is because over the last three months, I've been able to help four people who have these situ this situations. I've helped Dave, Mary, Eric, and Samantha, and I can help you too but I can only help you if you're prepared to help yourself, all right? If you're willing enough to help me, allow me into your life, allow me into your world, then I can help you. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this, the reason why I'm, the reason why I'm kind of like sharing this with you is I have a book, right? And I'm just gonna use this for an example. But I could quite easily, all day long, just create ad after ad after ad after ad after ad after ad of going, taking people from unaware of who I am to aware of who I am. Like, hey everyone, my name's Fraser Brooks and I'm a network marketing, I'm the number one network marketing social media trainer and coach and speaker in the entire profession and I have a book that's gonna help you with recruiting. And by me doing that, I'm gonna get some success. By me doing that, I'm gonna sell some books to the 5% of people who are like, oh, that sounds good, I'll buy. Because they are so ready to buy, they're those people who have their credit cards in their pockets all the time and just like, yep, yeah, buy, yep, yeah, buy, yep, yeah, buy. They're emotional buyers. But the people who need a little bit more, they're gonna go, okay, yeah, cool, I get this, I get that, right, okay. So I know this is this guy called Fraser and he's a social media guy and he has a book, right? They don't even know the name of the book. He has this book, it's an orange book, I think. I, I saw it on, a, on, a, on an ad at some point. And now when I'm talking on my, on my lives, when I'm talking on, on my reels, when I'm talking in my stories, when I'm posting on TikTok and YouTube, on the podcast, all these different pl uh, platforms, I'm talking about, hey, I was speaking to Jamie inside the inner circle the other day or on our weekly clarity call, and she's really struggling with overwhelm. Right? She's really struggled with overwhelm, with frustration, with like, other people are moving faster than me, and so on and so on and so on. Now, if you're someone like that, I want to share with you the solution. Now, the solution to overwhelm is writing down all the challenges that you face and then writing down two or three solutions to conquer and attack each challenge, which is going to move your business forward. Now, if you're someone who struggles with overwhelm, if you're someone who struggles with frustration, if you're someone who's like, I just need this, you just tell me what to do and I'll do it, then this book is the perfect thing for you right now. I'm not just letting them know that I'm the person that's gonna help them, I'm letting them know that this book is the answer to their problems as well. So whenever you, whenever you're talking about your product, whenever you're talking about your business, whenever you're talking about anything, Think about these three stages of, am I letting people know that, they're, that they've got to be aware of the pain or the problem? If they haven't got a problem or a pain, you probably can't help them, but I want to help them. You can't. If they're not aware of the pain or the problem in their life, move on to the next person. And if you struggle to find it, improve on that because it's super important. Okay? So aware of the pain, aware of the solution, and then they've got to be aware that you have what it takes to be able to get them out of that situation. I'll tell you this, guys. I'll tell you this. A lot of people's pain in 2023 and beyond is going to be money. Why? Because they're not going to make as much of it and they're going to need to spend much more of it. They're not going to make as much of it and they're going to spend much more of it in fuel, in taxes, in, uh, you know, in, in, like, in food costs, in gas prices, in all of this. And they're not going to make as much of it because after the COVID bubble, everyone's got lazy. People aren't producing as much as they used to be producing. So they'll get rid of you. And they'll find someone who does produce. Some industries are going, to be, uh, are going to be bringing in robots. Some industries are going to be doing different things. So here's the thing. 
If people have, are getting less money and they're spending more, their pain and problem is not having enough money or being frustrated that they can't buy the things that they want because they simply can't afford it. So that's the pain. The solution is to earn an extra income. Here are some solutions or ways to make some extra income. You can sell things on Amazon. You can become an Uber driver, but good luck with that rising fuel costs. You can do a network marketing business. Now, let me tell you this. If you are someone who is open to making more money, you need to, you want to, you're desperate for more, more money, and you've maybe a little bit kind of ooh, hesitant or resistant to going down the route of like, oh, network marketing, I don't know if I wanna be those people. Let me share with you my story. I was the same in the same situation two years ago, three years ago, six months ago, a year ago, six years ago. But, bum, 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 bum. If my story relates to you, then feel free to reach out or I'll make it even easier. Drop the fire emoji down below and I'll message you or I'll reach out to you. You can leverage many chat. You can leverage so many different automation um, processes as well where you can instantly start a conversation. In fact, if you right now are on Instagram, comment 2023 down below, 2023, uh, and I will send you a message to prove you how this automation works. It's about the upcoming 2023 game plan workshop, which I'll talk about now. It's so simple. And, I, and for those of you on Instagram, by the way, like that's the process that I've just drawn out. Okay, it's so simple, but most people don't know it. Most people don't do it because they, they're not aware of this recruiting journey. So just think of it like a bridge. Think of it as, okay, people are unaware about me. That's fine. The bigger your brand, the more aware they are, okay? And eventually, they need to know that I'm the solution. Think about it this way. Think about, in fact, I'll let you guys know on, on YouTube and Instagram, think of someone who's a massive influencer in the world. Like, think of someone, man or woman, who's a huge influencer. And just let me know in the chat. Whilst you're doing that, for those of you who are on Instagram or on the podcast, I hope, you, I hope you've enjoyed this kind of little session here. I've still got a little bit more to share with you. Uh, but if you haven't already done so, make sure you go to fraserbrooks.com forward slash 2023 uh, so that you can check out the upcoming 2023 uh, game plan workshop, which starts on Thursday the 15th at se Thursday the 15th of December at 7 p.m. UK time. I am super, 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 super fired up about that. All right, I'm super excited about that. Uh, and I know you guys will absolutely love it. Right now, we've still got a discounted price, but that discounted price ends on Tuesday night. All right, so here we go. All right, perfect one, Tony Robbins, right? Tony Robbins. Now, people who are unaware about Tony Robbins, right? They then become aware of him. Maybe someone says, have you ever heard of Tony Robbins? He's like the, the guy, the massive guy who just like claps crazy and they go, yeah, yeah, no, I don't know him. Like send me a video. So they send them a video and they go down this rabbit hole of podcasts, of YouTube videos, of the books, of the audios. And then they, they're like, oh my God, he keeps talking about all these pains that I'm going through with his interventions that he's doing. They watch the Netflix show, I Am Not Your Guru. And they're like, all these people who have these pains, I have the same pain. Tony Robbins is the solution. So then they book a ticket to UPW or Date With Destiny or whatever the events or different things is going to be, right? Eric Warre. People aren't aware of Eric Warre. Then they become aware of him. Why? Because this person right here, right? This person, who, this person who's had the transformation using this person goes to another person and says, hey, uh, like, have you ever heard of Eric Warre? No, I haven't heard of Eric Warre. Well, what have you been doing? You've been living under a rock or you've been living in a cave. Like, who is this guy? Well, you know, Eric's a network marketing trainer, blah, 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 blah. All right, cool. That's it. Like, oh, great. You've just told me what it is. You just told me like who he is. But like, I can't relate to it because I don't know the pain and I don't know the solution. So why should I continue that journey? Anyway, they check him out. And he starts talking about overwhelm. He starts talking about skill set. He starts talking about how to invite people. He starts talking about all these different things. And you start thinking, I, I need a bit of that. He, he has a solution to the pain and the struggle and the challenges that I face. Then you read the book, GoPro, and you read in the book and you're like, whoa, this dude knows what he's talking about. Tickets go on sale for Virtual GoPro 2023. Bang, I'm buying. And then that person comes back to their team and say, hey guys, have you ever heard of Eric Warren? Some of them are like, yeah, some of them are like, no. Right, I've really struggled with this. However, by reading his book, I've now got the solution to this pain and I'm now going to an event. 
Who wants to come with me to learn the breakthrough techniques? To da -da 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 -da. It's super, super, super simple when you understand this. All right? So with that being said, Instagram guys, uh, just wait there for a minute and I'll kind of flip this around and show you the whole thing. But for those of you who are watching on the podcast or listening, <laughs> watching on the podcast, cheers. For those of you who are listening on the podcast, I hope you've been able to listen along. My energy might be a little bit different, mainly because I'm standing up. Usually I'm sat down on the podcast, but I hope you got some value from this. If you are on the YouTube channel, I see there's so many of you guys on the YouTube channel uh, watching in. Do me a favor, smash the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments once we've uh, posted this recording what you liked best and I'll see you on the next episode. All right, big love guys. See you on the Game Plan Workshop. Bye-bye.